a reading from the book of Genesis. This is the family history of Isaac. This is Genesis chapter 25, verse 19 through 34. This is the family of history of Isaac, son of Abraham. Abraham had begotten Isaac. Isaac was 40 years old when he married Rebekah, the daughter of Bethuel, the Aramean, of Paddan Aram, and the sister of Laban, the Aramean. Isaac, entered the, it, Isaac entreated the Lord on behalf of his wife, sh- since she was sterile. The Lord heard his entreaty, and Rebekah became pregnant. But the children in her womb jostled each other so much that she exclaimed, If this is to be so, what good will it do me? She went to consult the Lord, and he answered her, Two nations are in your womb, two peoples are quarreling while still within you, but one shall surpass the other, and the older shall serve the younger. The reading for today, it seems, is the same reading as yesterday. I'm not sure exactly why that is. I just wanted to reflect a little bit on the Psalms. The Psalms, again, are the prayer of the church. They are the prayer of the people of Israel. They are the prayer of Christ. And in this prayer, in the Psalms, what we find are uh, different emotions, different situations, different experiences. The Psalms are very human. The Psalms are very real. Because David, who wrote many of the Psalms, had a real relationship with God. Because Christ, who fulfills the Psalms, had a real relationship with his Father. Because the church, who has made the Psalms our prayer, ought to have a real relationship with God. If we look at the Psalms and say, I could not pray that way to God, I could not say that to God, then we have not yet entered into this depth of relationship that we see in the Psalms, that we see with David, that we see with Christ, that we are called to in the church. Let us never fear to draw close to Christ. Let us never fear to seek God, even in our darkest times, even in our happiest times, even in our most human of times. Because God has become man. Because he loves us and wants us to know that he is with us, that he is able to understand us, that he loves us.